Um, can you hear me and can you see my screen? Yes, yes, John. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to uh, move away a little bit from these wonderful talks and wonderful uh, surgical techniques. And I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, IOLs, implants. Um, uh, as you know, trifocals are now very popular. Uh, and I'm going to do some comparisons. Um, I do receive a uh, lecture on the and sponsorship for an investigator initiated study from Alcon for the panoptics and lecture on the from J and J. These are the lenses I use um, mostly the panoptics trifocal, uh, the Adlisa trifocal, and the fine vision. These are the three I use the most. Uh, we did a comparison uh, between mostly fine vision and, and the Alcon panoptics. And we also put in the EDOF just to compare, uh, 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 just for comparison and to see, get a feel for the lenses. Now, basically, uh, essentially, the, this is the fine vision, physio, panoptics, symphony, and I, at least right here. And the more rings you have, basically, the more halos you get. So this is the main thing. But the more rings you have, the stronger the near. Um, I didn't compare the Adlisa with these because I use it mostly for high myopes, and I'll explain that why. But this is comparing the uh, Physiol, the Panoptics, and the Symphony. And obviously, the Symphony uh, has the, is best for the distance vision, best corrected. This actually, the best corrected shows you the function, you know, at the lens at its best, okay? So now, these are the function for the intermediate vision. Basically, we can see J5 or 2050 or better, you do not need glasses for a uh, computer. So none of these three lenses, uh, patients with these implants need spectacle uh, for, uh, for their computer. But uh, intermediate is stronger for the part F compared to the symphony and the uh, 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 panoptics. For near, uh, now again, a part F at 30 centimeters, panoptics is 40 centimeters, so their sweet spot for the lens, best corrected near, and the panoptics, actually works the best. Uh, and uh, for J3, they're pretty much uh, very similar. And obviously, Symphony is an EDOF, so near is weak. In terms of post-operative accuracy, the trifocal, uh, as you know, the trifocals are not very forgiving. You need really have to be quite accurate in your, uh, 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 in your result. And you can see the panoptics actually uh, comes out the most accurate, about 90% uh, within a half a diopter and 94% uh, within uh, three quarters of a diopter. Uh, none of the eyes lost any vision. The lenses are uh, very, uh, very good in terms of safety. Um, the defocus curve is very useful for me. I do the lenses and I do defocus curve. It tells me what lens and when to use it. Now, this is the uh, a symphony lens and you can see the distance is very good. Um, and this is the green is the panoptics and the blue is the physio. Okay, and you can see at 40 centimeters and overall near the panoptics is the strongest as I showed you just now in the table on the, on the histogram. But uh, particularly for 40 centimeters to 67 centimeters for office worker, this works well because it's strongest. Okay, and then for somebody, uh, I'm talking about trifocals comparing these two of course, for somebody who likes to hold their things a little closer at near then the physio actually trifocal works better, or somebody who does mahjong or play golf, who wants that intermediate and further better vision, then I recommend the physio. Visual symptoms is really the only thing that I think stopping us all from putting uh, trifocals in everybody or multifocals in everybody. And now the score zero is no problems. Five is very severe, okay, symptoms. So the trifocals are really pretty good. The 1.3, 1.4 for the physio and the panoptics is, all, is the lower and obviously the EDOF is the lowest. But if you look at the glare, the glare to me is very important for multiple RLs because that's your waxy vision. That's there all the time. There's morning, evening, all the time. And that's the reason basically why I have to explant the lenses. And actually I've not explant, explanted one for quite a long time. So even this is good, but particularly panoptics has a low glare uh, problem. And um, I like this and I actually use this uh, for the uh, post LASIK patients. I use a lot of the uh, panoptics because of the low glare. Halo really only happens at night. 
or out, outdoors so if the patient doesn't drive and most people most people in Hong Kong don't drive so halo is really not much of an issue in Hong Kong but if they do drive then you have to worry about the halos now if you look at the overall satisfaction zero is very dissatisfied five is most satisfied okay very very happy so the numbers are 4.3 form of 47 very good but symphony is the highest surprisingly when we do mono vision okay and spectacle independence though still not as good as the fine vision and the panoptics um i i have been putting in some uh array ones and uh actually unfortunately i don't have enough because uh, not enough patients to share a results with you because of the COVID. Uh, so they're not really, not too many of them coming back for follow-up uh, for obvious reasons. But if we, let's take a look at the literature since I've already given you a feel for the part F and the panoptics. Now the Ray one for the distance, the post-op uh, uh, refraction and the quality of vision score uh, is similar amongst all three lenses. Okay, but stand, what stands up particularly statistically significantly uh, less a uh, good is actually the depth perception for the physio. Uh, the ray one and the panoptics are the same. Same. And if you see the graph here, the blue is the. Uh, um, this is a, a defocus curve, and you can see that the uh, part F physio is actually for the intermediate uh, and distance to near uh, to intermediate. The uh, depth of perception is a little worse uh, for the part F, and the same for the other ones. So, um, study by Ferreira and Ribeiro. Uh, they compare Ray 1 and Pot F, similar, but just depth perception is better with Ray 1. And um, this is the same, uh, another study comparing panoptics at Lisa trifocal and the fine vision. And um, the at Lisa actually works very well. Okay, it's shown as shown here. Uh, and this actually panoptics is strongest for the intermediate. And if you look at the defocus curve again, at 100% contrast, that is in bright daylight, uh, the intermediate is best uh, for the uh, panoptics and the other two are pretty much the same. Uh, in dim light, uh, panoptics again, better for intermediate work, um, but that's obvious because the intermediate ad is the strongest amongst the Ray 1, which is 175, at least at 1.66. So this is the strongest for the intermediate. Um, this is a, a, a big study, 10,000 eyes, uh, comparing uh, you know, all the parameters, distance, intermediate vision. And, uh, but these are statistically significantly better with the ADISA, but not clinically significant because the difference is only 0 0.1 log ma. And spectral independence, um, the micro F seems better than the, uh, 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 the ADISA. Um, but if you look at, this is interesting because the ADISA seems to have the most PCO when comparing a micro F and the 839 uh, at Lisa and comparing with the panoptics, uh, panoptics 3.3 and the at Lisa 17.2. So the, uh, um, the at Lisa works well, uh, but it has a higher PCO rate. And also in terms of, because it's got the most rings, it has the most halos um, uh, uh, phenomena compared to panoptics and the physio. Other interesting technology, um, Ron already mentioned he used the Synergy. Um, that we're getting very nice reports with that. Uh, I have uh, we're just about to start, but uh, I don't have enough uh, in numbers to really present any good results to you. And the Ray one I have used uh, also uh, uh, works very well. Um, this is interesting because a dual optic concept where you put the monofocal monofocal toric in the bag, and then you put the sulco flex trifocal Ray one in the sulcus. And uh, the interesting concept is you can actually exchange the lens anytime quite easily. And also in the future, you know, even 20 years down the road, uh, when there's better technology uh, on the sulcus lens, you just take it out and you put another lens. So that's quite interesting. So in conclusion, uh, the Adlisa I use a lot for the high miles because it goes down to minus 10 power and then the cylinder goes up to plus 12. Uh, but uh, it does have a slight higher PCO rate uh, 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 compared to the other lenses. The panoptics has strong intermediate and no glare. Uh, it will work well in dim light. And I use this for the uh, uh, post LASIK uh, refractive surgery patient. The dual optics work well. The Ray one works well and the dual optic concept is very interesting. The physio has strong near and intermediate, but depth of field is a little weaker 
than the other two lenses. Thank you. Thanks, uh, John, for that brilliant talk. I mean, you